everybody! Hello! Recently we were able to attend the Indie Short Film Music and Arts Festival. Did you get all that? That was a pretty long title. It's a long title. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at some of the photos here. So the outfit that I wore this time was actually a two-piece. It was a top and a legging. Usually when you do a red carpet, you want to wear a dress. This is an occasion for you to get dressed up and show your best side. But occasionally you can get away with wearing like a really, really fancy top with, say, for example, what's really popular right now are leggings. And so this is what I did for um, this event. And the top was very beautiful and it was very shiny and silky. It was actually silk. And uh, then I matched it with the leggings and really cute um, shoes. So what I wore was a long gown. And it was a casual gown, but I wore my hair up to give it a little bit of a classier look. I do have to say, at that particular red carpet event, I was late, but it's not my fault. It's LA traffic, That's and true. we had to go all the way to Long, Long Beach. Long Beach, which is like so far. If I show up late at a red carpet, there is no way that I'm going through this carpet. Very it's, rare. The mm -hmm. lines are like a mile long. One of our best tips that we can give you is, always get there early if you can and and you don't want to be first because sometimes the media is not there paparazzi aren't there you know kind of get there get in line you know keep going back a little and then when you see it's full then then go ahead and go but just never be late unless maybe you're some like huge a-list celebrity and you can just walk on and like the parting of the sea for you right yes but till you get there <laughs> until you get there don't be late so one of the great things about this particular red carpet is we found or should i say discovered a band there called overtones and what we also found out about this particular group is that they are Dina and Clint Eastwood's band. And, and the way that it is, is they don't have like a soundtrack or music. They actually create those sounds with their voices. And, and there's a group. And don't they, ask me how they do it. Check them out online, overtones. But Kristen, did you not meet this great artist? Yeah, he was a really famous artist. His name is Mario Sabaya. And his art is called El Maya Verde. And, um, it was gorgeous. Yes. It was gorgeous. As you can see from all these pictures. Mm-hmm. Definitely. His, it's amazing. He asked me to take pictures in front of his art, like to take photographs, and he had a professional photographer along with him, and I just stood in front of his art that was displayed at this event, and he took pictures. And actually, here is the artist, Mario Sabaya. My tip of the day is basically when you go to any event, you do not know who you're going to meet, whether it's a band or an artist, but be prepared to take lots of pictures mm -hmm. and socialize a lot because you never know. Great networking opportunities, great way to meet people in the industry, whether you are in front of the camera, behind the camera, or you have some random job. So like that's it for now, guys. Have a good one. I'll be just saying.